Hello Grade Twos and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. Welcome to your Grade Two Maths lesson for today, and I hope you've had a lovely morning so far and that you're ready to learn with me again today. Now, if there are any questions that you might have during the lesson or after the lesson, or if there's anything that you need a little bit of extra help with, you can just ask Mommy or Daddy to help you send an email to Grade Two at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. Now, if this is the first time that you are watching a lesson with me, or if this is the first Worksheet Cloud lesson that you are watching, my name is Teacher Taryn, and today we're going to look at story sums, word sums, or you can even call them word problems. But before we can look at our new thing that we are learning today, we're going to wake our brains up a little bit. So we're going to count together. So let's have a look at this 100 chart, and we're going to count in tens from 7. So here you can see 7 is blue right at the top, and we're going to count and hop one number down. And that is our clever trick to count in tens. So when we get to 7 and we add a 10, it's going to land on 17. And only our 10 is going to change every time we add 10. So from 17, we're going to hop to 27, and then our 10 is going to change from a 10 to a 20. So let's count together from 7, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, and 97. Well done, grade twos. Now we're going to have a look at a few numbers on our 100 chart. And our first number is the number 33. Now, if we had to count on in tens, we would just hop to 43. And if we had to count backwards in tens, we just hop up. And the number right on top of 33 is 23. What number comes before 33? Well done, 32. And the number after 33? 34. Our next number is 69, and here you can see it's much further down on our 100 chart, closer to 100 than to 1. The number before 69 is 68, and the number after 69 is 70. Well done. So now we're going to ask, what are story sums, word sums, or word problems? They are problems that we need to solve that include words or they include numbers, but all of these words and numbers are in sentences. It includes people, there are people doing things, or there are animals. So you could read it like a little story. So we can add, we can subtract, we can multiply, or we can divide in our story sums. But today we are only going to look at how we add, we plus, or we subtract, we minus. Now, it's very important that when we do our story sums, there are some words that are clues to tell us what kind of story sum it is. Is it a plus story sum or a minus story sum? So let's have a look at these important words when we add things together. Either they could say we join something together or we plus. Or the word all together means everything combined. Or the total of something. Or both or more. So let's have a look at our first story sum that we might have. We're going to read through it together. And then there are some steps that we need to follow. So there are 13 pink flowers in my garden. There are also nine yellow flowers in my garden. How many flowers are there in my garden all together? So our first step is that we're going to circle the important words. There are 13 pink flowers in my garden. So 13 and pink flowers is important. Whenever we see numbers in our story sum, we know that we're going to use those numbers in our sum. There are also nine yellow flowers. So that is our second important bit of our sum in the garden. 
How many flowers are there in my garden all together? Now the word all together was one of our important clue words and all together means that it is a plus sum. So now we are going to draw a picture or we are going to do working out. Now if the sum is quite easy and we can work it out, we don't need to draw a picture. But sometimes in grade two, you might need to draw a picture to understand what they are asking of you. So we're going to draw our 13 pink flowers. So let's quickly count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So we have our 13 pink flowers that we spoke about. But now we need to do something to our nine yellow flowers. Remember that we said all together is a plus sum. So we're going to plus our nine yellow flowers. But now we need to draw it first. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine yellow flowers. So, now that we've drawn our sum, we can't just leave it like this. We need to follow some steps. And our first step is going to be that we need to write a number sentence. Then our second step is we need to show our working out because we can never just write the answer down. Number three is going to be that we need to write the answer once we've solved the problem and we need to include our label. Now a label is what we are working with. So in our sum over here, we were working with flowers. So flowers is going to be our label. Okay, so our first step, our number sentence, is just the sum that we need to write. So we had 13 pink flowers. We said we're going to plus them because of that word all together. And then we had nine yellow flowers. But very important to be able to make it a number sentence, we need to say is equal to a block. Now this block is just a placeholder. It's in the place of where the answer should be but we haven't worked our answer out yet. So at the end, once we know what our answer is, we're going to replace this block with our answer. So that's our first step, is our number sentence. Our second step is our working out. Now sometimes our working out is very easy and we can do it in our head, but this is definitely not an easy sum that we can just work out in our head. So we're going to show our working out. 13 plus 9, the way we showed our working out was we drew a picture on the previous slide. So 13 plus 9 is 22. But now our sum still isn't finished because that could be 22 pencils, 22 pages, 22 shoes, 22 cupcakes, any label. But our label in this sum was we were working with flowers. So now in our last step, we need to say that we have 22 flowers. And those are our three steps of our story sum. Okay, so let's have a look at our next story sum. There are 23 children on the playground. 12 more children start playing on the playground. How many children are there in total on the playground? Now this is a very long story. So we're now going to go and circle our important words again. And then we're going to draw a picture or we're going to show our working out. So our first important word is, remember we said all our numbers are important. 23 children. And then 12 more children. Now more was a clue word that we said right in the beginning start playing on the playground how many children are there in total and we said that the word total was also a clue word so now that we've circled all our important words we can draw a picture or we can show our working out so we're now going to do this on a hundred chart we know it's a plus sum because we said the word more or we said the word in total was a clue to say that it's a plus sum. So now we're going to have a look at our 100 chart. We know we started off with that first number, 23 children. 
And then they said 12 more children. So we're going to add 12. So there's already 23. And now we're going to count 12 on. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are our 12 children. And we landed on the number 35. But we can't just show this as our sum. This was just for us to help ourselves work it out. So now we need to look at our steps again. And our steps were our number sentence, our working out, which we've already done, but we haven't showed it in our sum yet. And then our answer with a label. So let's start with our number sentence. We know it's a plus sum. And we know we started with 23 children. So we're going to say 23 plus, and we had 12 more children. But is it a number sentence yet? No, it's not, because we haven't written equals a block as a placeholder. Now we're going to show our working out. Now you might have a different way of working this out, and that's fine if you need to show it over here. But we are going to work this out now by using an arrow method where we're going to keep our first number the same, 23, and then we're going to split up our second number, plus 12. But 12 is actually a 10 and a 2. So first we're going to add our 10. We're going to write an arrow, and 23 plus 10, we know that is 33. Then we're going to add our 2, and that we know is 35. So we got to our answer and we showed how we got to the answer. And now we need to write our answer with a label. And our label was children. And we'll always find how to spell our label in our story sum that we were working with. So 35 children is the answer. Okay, so up until now we've been working with plus sums or adding. We are now going to have a look at the minus sum or subtracting. So subtracting or minus sums have clue words as well to help us remember that is that it is a minus sum. So the word take away, if we take something away, or if we give something away, or someone gave away, if we have fewer than we had when we started, if we minus, if we have less, or we could say how much is left after we've either given it away or taken something away? Or if we eat something, we're going to have less than we had before. Or if something burns or if we lose something. So let's have a look at our first example. I have 18 sweets. I gave away seven sweets. And how many sweets do I have left? So remember, first we need to circle our important words. The first number I see is 18 sweets. I gave away is important because that tells me it's a minus sum. Seven sweets is our second number that I see. How many sweets do I have left? And left, how many do I have left? That also tells me it's a minus sum. So now I'm going to draw a picture or I'm going to show my working out. So it's a minus sum because of all our clue words. And we're going to look at our 100 chart, or just a bit of the 100 chart. We started with 18 sweets, and they are my 18. And now I'm going to take away the 7 that I gave away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I'm minusing, I count backwards. And now I know that I land up on 11. But we need to show this in our three steps. Remember, our number sentence, our working out, and our answer with a label. So our number sentence is going to be 18, that's the amount of sweets I started with, minus 7, that's what I gave away, is equal to a block. My working out I showed on my 100 block was 18 minus 7, I know is 11. And then my last step is my answer with a label. Now, what was I working with? I was working with sweets. So my answer is going to be 11 sweets. Well done, grade twos. 
I just know that you are understanding already. Our last example that we're going to look at is about muffins. So let's read through our sum and then we're going to circle the important words. While I'm reading, see if you can find those important words before we do it together. I have baked 26 muffins. In the oven, 12 muffins burnt. How many fewer muffins are there to eat? So first of all, I had 26 muffins that I wanted to bake. I put 26 muffins in the oven. In the oven, 12 muffins burnt. So if they burnt, there's less muffins now. How many fewer, the word fewer gives me a clue, it's a minus sign. How many fewer muffins are there to eat? I've already circled my important words. Now I'm going to draw a picture and I'm going to do it on my 100 chart again. I had 26 muffins, there are my muffins. 12 of these muffins burnt, so I need to take 12 away. So let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'm going to land on the number 14. So let's put it in our steps again. Our number sentence is step one, step two is our working out, and step three is my answer with a label. So number one, 26, that's the amount of muffins I put into the oven, minus, because they burnt, 12, that's how many burnt, equals a block, and that's my number sentence. So I can say 26, I'm going to use the arrow method again, 26 stays the same, and 12 is a 10 and a 2. So I'm first going to minus 10, and that answer is 16. And then I'm going to minus 2, and that answer is 14. So now I've shown my working out over here. And now I'm going to write it with my label. And what was I working with? I was working with muffins. So now I'm going to say that I have 14 muffins. So grade twos, you were very clever today in learning all our story sums. And I hope that you remember all those steps, that you circle the important words, that you try and draw a picture or do your working out, and that you set up your sum with your three steps, your number sentence, your working out, and then your answer with your label. Grade twos, until the next time that we can learn something together again, I hope you have a lovely afternoon or day further. Goodbye, great twos. And this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.